Today I'm going to show you guys how to install these. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install these Shimano brake pads on the Suron. All right, step one: don't do this on grass, and if you do, put down some kind of mat so that your little pieces don't fall and get lost. This is the stuff that comes with the brake pads. Now you might also need a needle nose pliers, and you will need a number three metric Allen wrench, maybe some gloves. Start with loosening this bolt right here. Once that's loose, you're gonna to need to remove this C-clamp in the back. That comes right off like this. Now unscrew this bolt all the way and just pull that right out like this. Take your needle nose pliers and yank all these pads out. And take out this thing and take out each pad. Slides right out. Then take out the other one from the other side and you should have everything out of there. These are the pieces you've taken out. Now we're gonna install the new pieces and you're supposed to put this metal thing in between the brakes so that this metal thing's job is to pull the brakes apart when you're not using them to alleviate squeaking and brake pads from getting stuck. So you're gonna take your Shimano pad that says left on it and put it on this side and then the right one goes on the opposite side. Try to put this little metal thing in between them it's definitely easier said than done. It's not easy. I gave up when doing it on the front and I don't have it on the front, so. So far I got the metal thing in there right now. Let's see if this works this time. Then you're just gonna try and slide them in. Just like that. And I actually did it this time. And now these ones are better than the other ones because they, they hold on. They don't slide in too far and get lost in there. Now you're gonna take your old pin that came with the Suron right here, shove it back into here. You might need to adjust everything a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna need to pull these up a little bit like that. Adjust the brake pads up about a half a millimeter until you can see daylight through this hole. And then put the old pin back in and give it a tighten with the number three metric Allen wrench. Tighten it pretty much all the way, pretty good. Now you're gonna put this little C-clamp thing right on the back as it was before. The best way to do this is to take your needle nose pliers like this and come in through the back side, back here, and then try and shove it on like that. Okay, everybody, see you next time, bye.